You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Item provided by Moose Toys for review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Today, Elise and I are going to check out the original Tiny Hands challenge game. But we do need to say thanks to Moose Games for sending us this game. Thanks, Moose. Uh, what's some of the specifics on there? What are you going to read? A hilarious team versus team party game. Ages 8 plus, 4 to 10 players. Ooh, 4 to 10 players. Yes. I don't think we'll be able to get 4 players here, <laughs> but you and I can at least check out the game. Mm -hmm. Big fun for everyone. This is a interesting looking game with mini hands, huh? Let's see. Team up and compete in outrageously fun physical stunts using tiny hands. Balancing, bouncing, stacking, and more have never been so challenging or hilarious. Take a card, make a wager, play to win. Look at those little hands. Does it look like oh, there's yeah. two different size hands? Yeah, I think so. Mini, there's mini hands. Yeah, all right. Now, we both have our long sleeves on, so we are ready so that we don't show our hands. you got to hide your hand in there. Go hide your hand. And then out will pop our mini hands. So yes. we come back. We will do an official game opening. All right, Elise, the tape is cut. The game is ready. All right, the big unveiling. Here we go. And a one, and a two, and a three. There you go. All right. So it looks like there are number tokens. Take those here. I'll take this here and start. Okay, so oh, those must Should be your, your wagers. Well, let's just wait. We'll get everything laid out here. All right. Okay. There is the instruction sheet. A spinner. Okay. okay, there's this string. We'll put that in the middle. And a ball. Okay. okay. Your timer. Oh, that's a nice timer. Check yes. that one out. And then mini hands. All right, let me cut this bag. Ooh. You can take out one pair. Okay. That's kind of funny. There you go. Considering we are what's considered a YouTube hand channel, because you just see our hands, right? Mm-hmm. Forget that. I'm going to put one in my sleeve right away. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to put this one just so people could see. And we'll give each okay. other a handshake. You ready? Handshake. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So mini, I got the mini set. You got the medium set. Yes. Okay, and then the cards. Solo I'll cards. I'll keep them here. Charades. And then pair. All right, so the rest okay. of the box, let me just see. You know, sometimes I hide things underneath. Nope, empty underneath. All right, so we have everything we need now. Okay. We've seen all the game pieces. Mm -hmm. We need to now take a look at everything, come back, and then explain it and set it up, and then play with our mini hands. Okay. Okay, we are back. Elise is going to pop out the tokens. I am going to finish opening up the cards. But what we have here is the actual setup. And this is how they want it set up as you get your team set. You're going to be opposite couches or opposite sides of the table. Yep. All right, so you have three sets of cards, pair, solo, and then charades. So we will see. Now, depending on... How you spin on the spinner will determine which card you're going to turn over. Now okay. show everybody the back side of the yellow tokens so they can see right away. There are two colors to the token sides. Mm -hmm. What happens is if you fail at your challenge, you flip it over to black and put that in the other team's token pile. All right? There go. All right, so you're putting out the yellow. So what's going to happen here with your teammates... Use tiny hands to complete activities and earn points. The first team to earn 31 points wins. So divide into two teams. Right now we'll just have to be one team or we'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. And then uh, set up the wager mat with yellow team scoring tokens, yellow side up and the yellow and blue team. So we're doing that now. Separate the cards, set out the hands and the spinner and the ball and the string, which we have done. All right. So before doing the activity, decide which of your available tokens you want to wager. Place a token in your wager area. So before you begin, you're going to think, huh, I'm qualified. I'm going to do a seven as my wager because okay. you are the first player. All right. Do, 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 do. The other team may challenge. Okay, so your team now needs to spin. Okay, and they now get a solo with the tinier. There's tiny hands and tinier hands. So now grab the tiniest of hands. Both of them? Yep, yeah, those two small hands. And then, yep, yeah, we're going to put the thumb in the right one and the thumb in the left one. And then they're going to flip the card for solo. And this is what's going to have to happen. We're not going to do it just yet. 
And then let's see, it says make a circle with the string on the floor using the hands, pick up the pen and start four paces away from the string. Go, use the pen as a putter to get the ball into the circle. Mm. Wow, all right, so okay. put the hands down. We are not actually applying it, we're just giving you a quick idea. So if you do the challenge, then you get to keep your seven points over in your pile. Okay. And then the other team can challenge you and do the same challenge. Here's the challenge rooms. Oh. If a team is successful, the other team may shout, challenge. If they think they can also do the activity successful, the wager one, then they wager one of their available tokens of an equal or higher value by placing it in their wager area. Okay, so they would do the same okay. thing, equal or higher. So they'd have to do at least a seven or a ten. And then they would do the same challenge. The challenging team wins their own wager token, team color face up. The original team still wins their token, but they flip it over to the black side. So now Ooh. if this team gets it, now you have a black and you get Aww. five, all right? Okay. That's so it's fine. a minus five probably later. We'll figure that out. Mm. And then there is the charades challenge card. So you can challenge with charades and the team is actually, when it lands here, then you can challenge and you turn over another card. All right, so there's some special cards here like these face-off cards. Now that means both teams wager the highest value available to both teams. And I'll show you a face-off card. So if someone draws one of these, it's got the little face-off logo in the corner, okay? okay? Get ready. One player from each team uses a set of hands and takes a token. Their teammate stands five paces away with a cup on their head. Go. Toss the token into the cup. Hmm. I'm going to say that's pretty near impossible. Yeah. <laughs> I would say just balancing the cup on your head would be near impossible. Yeah. Let's read another one. Get ready. Place a penny on the table in front of each team. Each player uses a hand. Go. Pick up your penny. So two Hard. people. Yeah. Are tr one person has the right hand and one person has the left hand. All right. Okay. And there's a lot going on here. Toss seven cards into the air. Two players on your team. Each use a set of hands. Go. Pick up all seven cards one at a time and place them on the table. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> place the shoes on the floor in front of each team. Make sure the shoelaces are tied. Each player uses a hand. Go. Untie the laces on your shoe. So you're working together to untie mm -hmm. shoelaces. Okay. So I could see this being extremely challenging. Definitely. And then the solo <laughs> cards. Let's see if there's any face off in there. Oh, there is. So solo. Using the hands, player picking up a player picks players pick up a card and hold it out in front of them. Go. Step over the card one foot at a time without dropping the card. Okay. Mm. Lots of things in there. There's bowling, javelin, elephant, howdy do, gift wrapping, hanging out, bend and snap. So they all have little names to them. Doorbell. Tie the string into a large loop. Stand five paces away from the doorknob. Go. Using the hands, toss the string and get it to hook on the doorknob. So you're using wow. not only what they have here, but other items in your house. Okay? okay. And it's all done in the timer. So you have to do it in a lot of time. Now let's see if there's any face-offs in this one. No, no face-offs. Okay. So in the charades now, you have to act these out with the little hands. Okay. Mm -hmm. Until the timer runs out and you guess as many as you can for your team. And then in the challenge, then the challenging team would grab a card, flip it over, and have to try to beat what your team just did. Okay? Okay. All right. So charades, need timer, ruler, bow, ice cream, toothbrush, tornado. Imagine trying to do that with yeah. the mini hands. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's basic gameplay. I think we need to just try a couple of these things on our own. What do you think? We'll try them here. Yeah. Do a couple of the challenges. Sure. All right. We'll come back then and uh, give it a shot. Okay. Or give it a hand. All right, we are back. Elise has got the yeah. tiny hands, and I have the tinier hands. Let's just show them in comparison there. There we go. Yeah, nice. So definitely different in size. So you want to hold them so that they are covered up so you don't see your hands, right? Yeah. There we go. High five. Okay. High five. <laughs> All right, so... Some of these challenges are extremely difficult. One of them, you're actually tying this in a knot and trying to throw it over somebody's head. There's things where you're bouncing things off the ceiling. So we decided to pick three, one, two, three, <laughs> that we found we could at least possibly get through in the time frame. Yes. But we thought, well, pass me the ball. Let's just see. So people could see how the ball, in relation to the hand, just trying to pass it. 
Okay, Yay. try to balance it in one hand. Ooh, all right, bring it back. Try to turn your hand a little. There you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. So there's tricks where you're going to bounce this or throw it into someone's uh, cup on their head. We read that one earlier. And other tricks with the ball, which we found rather challenging. So this is a solo trick called Bullseye. Draw a target on the paper. Now you do this before you put your hands on. So you draw your target on the paper. Okay, and then place the paper on the floor and stand three paces away. So we'll put a bullseye on here. Now it says, can everybody see that? You know what, let me get a Sharpie here. It'll be easier to see with a Sharpie. Okay. Here we go, let's do that again. There we go. Better? Yeah. There, okay. There go. It's like a donut. Yeah, it's a donut. <laughs> I made a donut. All right, stand three paces away, okay. all right? Using the hands, hit the center of the target with the ball, all right? So let me get my hand on here. Your hands are all set. You are going to okay. go first. Oh, I just dropped the pen cap. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say, you know, you're gonna okay, actually back away now. Oh, okay. And then back you're gonna try to throw it from where you're at to hit the target and then I'll okay. catch it for you and bring it back. Are you ready? Yes. One, two, three, go. Toss. Ooh, very close. <laughs> Miss, move in a little closer with your hands. Okay. Miss, oh. throw it a little higher. Ooh, that was closer. Oh, too far now. Ooh, I would say that was pretty much it. We'll give you a few more. Ooh. There, that one was perfectly on. There's plenty of time on the timer, so you would have won that wager. Now, as you can tell, everybody, we're not playing exactly like they say, but I want to try that now. Okay. So it's my turn. I'll get the you ball. control the timer. Here we go. Okay. So I am going to now take this, and I'm going to wee into the Ready? center. Here we go. One, two, three. Say go. Okay. Go. All right. Ah, I got it. Let me stand a little further back now. Three paces. Okay. One, two, three. You ready? Mm -hmm. Pretty Ooh, close. So close. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And one, two, three, and whoosh. Ooh. Do it again. All right. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Whoosh. Oh, Ooh, that was pretty yeah. close. All right, so I could see that one being fun to do. Mm -hmm. Not too hard. All right, as the time goes by, place the paper underneath the timer. Okay. All right. And then it says, let's let that run out. Using the hands, remove the paper from under the timer without mm -hmm. falling over. So, I'm not sure. I mean, the easy way to do that would be to just pick up the yeah. whole timer, right, and move yeah. it, but you have to kind of move the paper, probably, and do it one step at a time, okay? Okay. I mean, because you could easily just do that and push it off, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about that challenge, but we will see how you do it. It just says, using the hands, remove the paper. So you probably got to grab it like this yeah. and Pull it. Yeah, without knocking that over. I could see this one being very challenging. Yeah. Give it a shot here. I won't help you here at all. Okay. Does that help? Yes. <laughs> all right. Are you set? Yes. Go. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. No, you're going to have to move the timer. Yeah, just keep going. Yeah, I don't see this one being very easy to understand. Using the hands, remove the paper from under the timer without the timer falling over. Maybe just pull it real fast. See if you can go. Whoosh. Oh. All right, so let me try that one. Okay. Let me get my mini hand in there. Okay. I'm going to do it real fast and see if that's what they expect. I have a smaller hand, so it's a little bit easier. You think so? Yeah. Ooh, Ooh that's really that was close. close. <laughs> so I think that's what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Now let me try pulling it down. Oh. Ooh. Get up there, Mr. Yeah. Timer. Yeah, so I could see that there's going to be some conflict between the teams as to the correct way to do it, if yeah. you did it right. All right, here we go. One, two. No, Ooh. and I'm pulling it pretty fast. All right, that one's tough. Let's do the next one here. Yay. It says, get ready. Oh, you stood it up on your own? Mm -hmm. Place the paper on the table. Two players on your team. Okay, this will be a team one here. Okay. Each use a set of hands and a pen. Here's your pen. Let me give you your own piece of paper here. I'll just 
rip this in half. Can I grab it? Yeah, you're gonna I have to hold it. With my hands. Yeah. And it says, legibly write down the first 15 letters of the alphabet. Let's see if we can get through just the letter A. I have no okay. idea. Um, All right, let me get my hands set. Wow, this, it's hard just to pick it up. Yeah. Okay, got it. You think you're ready? You're going to be able to write with it? Oh, no. All right, here we go. One, two, three, and give it your best shot. Timer over. Okay, let's see. Oh, my hand is exposed. A. Oh, no. Yeah, you got to pick it up like this. Like that? Mm -hmm. Nope, start from the top. B. Legibly. Are you kidding me? This is near impossible. C. I, I suggest you use. Oh, look how, look how good you're doing. A, B, C, D, E. I don't know what the 15. Yeah. Oh, no. oh! All right. Well, I think that's good enough. I think we all understand you're better than me at that. All right. So that is. You're still going? I got it. All right. At least enough. That is the game of Tiny Hands, and there are a lot more challenges in here, and some of them are extremely difficult, so that's the fun of the game, being able to do that with a group of people. Oh, yeah, we got to give our big thumbs up, and thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. You ready? Give a video. If you can, give the video a big thumbs up. We'd appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Later. Bye. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.